Now at 11, new plans to finally demolish a downtown eyesore. In the past two hours, the city council approved $1.2 million in emergency legislation, money that can be used to tear down the Berkman II. And this is a live look at the Berkman. The implosion, it's been pushed back time and time again. The partially completed building has sat vacant on East Bay Street since 2007. You'll remember a parking garage collapse killed a worker. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joining us now. Bree, city officials say the structure is an immediate threat to life and safety. Safety was a big concern that was mentioned tonight, but this safety concern right behind me, this will all be coming down soon as said in city council tonight. So peace of mind, the contracting company claims the owner of the Berkman, Berkman wasn't paying them. That's why the city had to act so fast on this. Now, the most recent implosion date was January 8th and Beeler, who is the developer and the previous owner of the building, said that there that it had to be delayed again because of insurance issues. Now, Steve Peace, the owner of Peace of Mind, the contracting company that's going to implode the Berkman, filed a lien to Jacksonville's Charles to Jacksonville on January 6th with his, which the lien is a right to keep possession of property belonging to another person until a debt owed by that person is discharged. So basically, they, the owner owned the contracting company money. Now, P says he operated under good faith that the owner would resolve things and pay up, but he did not. Now, the contractor also noted in his letter that because they had weakened the Berkman II structure to prepare for the implosion, the building was not structurally sound. Now, they can't predict the structural integrity during a significant weather event, especially that's why it's such a big safety issue. Now, Councilman Rory Diamond was one of 15 who voted to pass this. There comes a point where private property rights run up against public safety and we're there. This is a dangerous building. You don't have to look very far down the Florida coast to see what happens when a building is neglected this long and dangerous things happen. Now, Park Beeler, who owns the previous company that was in charge of imploding, and scheduling that imploding said that this was not fair and he disagreed with what was decided on tonight. There was not any opportunity for me to challenge anything that was said by Brian Hughes or by the city attorney. There were misrepresentations of fact. There was a total disregard of the fact that the contractor that was discussed at this was actually the contractor that caused the delay. So now city council said tonight, members of city council said that Thursday they are meeting that's with the building code administration. They're going to um, talk about some things and decide when this building will be coming down. Now, Brian Hughes was saying that date will be sometime in February, but he says when they decide on a date, it will for sure be coming down that day. I'm reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.